In recent news, Travis Scott just celebrated his 29th birthday by showing off his brand new Bugatti. And considering those cars can cost millions, we know the rapper is living in luxury. We also know that Travis was spending most of his quarantine holed up with baby mama Kylie Jenner and their daughter Stormy in Palm Springs. But what's his full time home like? In this video, we'll look at Travis's Beverly Hills mansion, the place he bought for his parents, and more. Jacques Berman Webster II, known to the world as Travis Scott, is a rapper, singer, songwriter, and record producer. He's 29 at the time of this recording, and over the last few years, he's accomplished a lot in his career. His musical style seems to set him apart from other artists, described as a fusion of hip-hop, lo-fi, and ambient. Travis has sold more than 45 million records in the US alone, nominated for multiple Grammy Awards, and won a Billboard Music Award too. Let's not forget he also makes headlines for his relationship. Travis is a dad and shares a daughter with the mega-famous Kylie Jenner. It seems the public always wants to know whether the pair is back together or not, and with the current lockdown, rumors are they've been spending more time as a family. The Shabbat? Okay. okay. Kylie just bought a brand new $36 million mansion and it looks like she's settling in pretty nicely. We actually did an updated house tour on her gorgeous new place, so check that out because I'm sure Travis will be spending a lot of time there too. But where does Travis spend all of his time now? As far as we know, Travis's current home is the Beverly Hills pad that he went halves on with Kylie to buy a couple years back. At the moment, Travis has an estimated net worth of about $40 million, and while he may not be a billionaire yet, he's come a long way from the days spent sleeping on the floor of a New York studio. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna look at where Travis Scott calls home, including the main home he bought with Kylie in Beverly Hills, the house he got for his parents, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Michael Jordan and Kylie Jenner's new mansion like I mentioned, so we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. As always, I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. I need you to let me know who to do next and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to surprise my fam. One of the most like craziest gifts of all time. Um, it's actually too big to put a bow around. So I can't wait to see these mother reaction. Um, I might gram, I'm gonna gram this whole So yeah, Travis may have split the cost on the Beverly Hills mansion with Kylie, but he has riches on his own. But let's not forget the rapper gifted his parents a multi-million dollar mansion for Christmas in 2016. We know that Travis hails from Houston, Texas, so apparently the home he got for his parents is here as well. I guess now when he goes to visit, he has a lavish spot to stay at too. Judging from the snaps he posted, Travis's family was so grateful and excited, but I mean, who wouldn't be? His parents, even his granny, and the kids in the family were moving in by the looks of it. What up, Mark? New crib. My mom in that spot. We can see the double height entryway with chandelier, large open spaces like kitchen, dining room, and family rooms. There's also an arcade room, and we can even see a Pepsi dispenser on one of the floors. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. It looks like there's a wraparound balcony on the second floor that spans the whole house so everyone gets a nice view of the property. And how about that pool? The backyard looks like it's straight out of a resort with the lagoon style pool, waterfall and surrounding palm trees. <laughs> There's also an extensive deck and patio for tanning, entertaining guests, and lounging. Surprise my fam with the new crib. Travis went on to share that he's been working his whole life to give this gift to his parents, tweeting, used to sleep on floors, now we walk on marble. Now if that's not the ultimate Christmas gift. As you probably know, Travis's home base is in none other than Beverly Hills, Los Angeles. Here he's close to not only the action of Hollywood in his career, he's with his daughter Stormy and on and off again baby mama and partner Kylie. In the past, Kylie's opened up about the pair's living situation before they had their current mansion. She said, 
I'm actually scrolling through Instagram right now and it says that me and Travis don't live together and so I just want to say that we never miss a night with each other. We go back and forth from my Calabasas house in the city home we actually got together. Reports say that before Travis's multi-million dollar mansion in the hills, the two had another smaller home in central Los Angeles together. And Travis also used to live at Kylie's Hidden Hill mansion that she still owns. In 2018, however, Travis and Kylie made a big purchase together of a modern Beverly Hills house costing them a massive $13.5 million dollars, but apparently they split the cost. The home is described as fresh and designed with clean lines and is located in Beverly Hills Post Office area of Los Angeles. This is the famous 90210 area of the city and is a community that values seclusion and upscale living, perfect for a high profile couple like Travis and Kylie. We can see that Travis's home is surrounded by a ton of greenery and trees which gives a sense of added security and shields the home from the paparazzi. The mansion sits on 1.1 acre plot of land and inside spends over 9,600 square feet of living space. Built in the 1970s, the property was once owned by actress Louise Curry and received an extensive renovation a few years ago. This made the home fully updated and more of a contemporary style. Inside Travis's Beverly Hills patio finds seven beds, ten baths, and a handful of perfectly decorated open concept living spaces. A two-story entryway opens up to an indoor-outdoor living and dining area complete with European oak floors, modern fixtures, and a fireplace. On the main level of the home, there's also a family room, a chef's kitchen with an oversized center island, and state-of-the-art appliances, as well as a formal dining room. The master suite is extra large here, spanning 2,300 square feet, which is bigger than the average home. It has an elegant and spacious ensuite bathroom, oversized walk-in closet, its own sitting room, office, and storage space. Not to mention, the room opens up to an extensive private balcony with city and ocean views. Other features inside Travis's house include a home movie theater, gym, library, wine room, and extra den. There's also a three car garage and additional parking space. Looking at photos, some may say the backyard is the feature of the mansion. The large pool and spa seems to cover most of this space and the surrounding patio makes for a great space to lounge and entertain guests. The garden and pool is surrounded by a thick wall of trees and hedges, which gives the family a lot of privacy as I mentioned. The listing of the home even described the mansion as one of the most private compounds in Beverly Hills. The multiple outdoor seating areas and the decks on the first and second floor of the house all get the same privacy thanks to the greenery. On the property, there's also a separate guest house for visitors with its own kitchen and living area, bedroom and ensuite bathroom. Now before we wrap up this video, let's see some of the cars Travis keeps in that garage. We know that Kylie's car collection is hard to compete with considering it's worth something like 14 mil, but it doesn't mean Travis plays small. He too loves his luxury cars. Like I mentioned, his most recent addition is the Bugatti he just got for his 29th birthday. I'm not sure what exact model this sleek black Bugatti is, but I'll guess it costs in the seven figure price range if not a million plus. One of Travis's favorite cars he owns is a Ferrari 488. While many celebs get the 458 Italia model, Travis upgraded to this one. His Ferrari sports a burnt orange color and wasn't interested in the typical red Ferrari trend. This one likely cost him over 300k. Next up, Travis also has a Lamborghini Aventador SV. He got West Coast Customs to wrap the whole vehicle and now his Lambo is a matte brown color with bright white rims. It seems like Travis likes his custom Lamborghinis as he also has a Lamborghini Huracan. Although this model isn't as fast as the Aventador, the look of it stands out even more considering Travis got his wrapped in a bright purple camouflage. Which one of his cars is your fave? So now we've taken a look at where Travis Scott lives in LA, which was reportedly the Beverly Hills mansion he went Dutch on with Kylie. We know the man has a high net worth, so I'm sure he could afford his own mansion, but since the pair spend so much time together and with Stormy, I don't think it makes a difference. Considering the parents have spent a fair amount of time in this quarantine together, you gotta wonder if Travis will be shacking up at Kylie's new mansion in Holmby Hills too. I guess only time will tell. After seeing Travis's house, what did you guys think? Were there any properties of his that I missed? I think that modern Beverly Hills home is gorgeous and I'm obsessed with that pool. But honestly, after seeing Kylie's new mega mansion, it's really hard to compete. Be sure to let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!